So here is a leaf from a tree of heaven. Um, it's longer than a sumac and um, and an eastern black walnut generally. You know, they have long leaves, lots of leaflets. Um, the most important thing to look for when trying to identify a tree of heaven is the scent glands on the, towards the base of each of the leaflets. So if we look closely, uh, the leaflets aren't serrated. They're smooth along the entirety of the leaflet except for at the bottom, you'll see if you can see where I'm kind of pointing to here, there's a little tooth on each side of each leaflet. You'll see it here and here. And you'll see that across all the leaflets. Sometimes they're harder to see, but if you look closely, you can still see that little, that little tooth that sticks out at the bottom of the leaflet. This is a dead giveaway for um, Elanthus or Tree of Heaven. Um, if you see, sometimes, you know, like on this leaflet, you can see a couple. They usually have one to three. Sometimes you see more, but generally one to three. Um, and like I said, otherwise the leaflet is smooth. So if you look on the back of the leaf, on each leaflet, you can see sometimes more clearly, if I can focus that, sometimes more clearly, it's easier to see on the back, um, the little scent gland. Um, so. If you see those on the leaflets, it's a tree of heaven. Look closely at the bark of a tree of heaven. Um, you'll notice it's generally smooth. Um, now here in southeastern Pennsylvania, we, um, a couple of years ago, were introduced to this pest, the spotted lanternfly. And this thing is native to China, um, where uh, the tree of heaven is also native to China. So um, this preferred, this pest preferred tree is actually the tree of heaven. So whenever you find, whenever I find a tree of heaven around here, it's covered like this with spotted lanternflies. And these things are dangerous, present a lot of potential harm to fruit trees and, you know, other native plants in our area. So there's a big initiative to try to get rid of them. But um, obviously some townships aren't willing to spend the money to remove um, these tree of heavens and trees of heaven, whatever. Um, so it's unfortunate, but if we ignore them and kind of look at the bark, it is smooth. There, there's not a rough texture to it or anything. Um, and yeah, it's it's smooth. You'll see kind of like striation or like little stripes here. And uh, yeah, they, it looks very different from a black walnut tree. So if you look closely, um, you can see that's the fruit of a tree of heaven. So kind of looks cool it's kind of tropical sometimes it's um, yellow yellowish white like like it is here sometimes it's more orange um, and sometimes it's dark red which is pretty cool um, but there are female and male tree of heavens so you'll see like roughly half of the mature trees have fruit and half of them don't that's because there's two different sexes obviously the females only produce the fruit but um, here's a closer look at some of the seeds produced by a female tree of heaven um, they produce like thousands maybe even hundreds of thousands of tree of, of seeds depending on how big the tree is it's crazy how many things how many seeds these things produce it's really really nuts um, they spread like crazy they're so invasive and um, yeah generally they're not good you want to remove these um, you want to remove the tree of heavens any seedlings you find look there's one right here Um, yeah, you want to remove these, especially if you're in the area with spotted lanternflies, because they will find it and they will, they will eat it. And yeah, so, um, yeah. So this is the bark of an eastern black walnut. You can see it's much, much more, um, furrowed. It's, you know, it's more rough. It's not smooth. Um, there's more... Um, you know, deeply lobed patterns in this bark, and it's very distinct from a tree of heavens. Okay, and here is a leaf from an eastern black walnut. So they kind of look the same, but if you notice, the eastern black walnut has serrated leaflets. They're barely serrated, but if you look closely, you can see the teeth on the leaflets here. Um, and they're serrated, you know, throughout, throughout the entirety of the leaflet. Um, another important thing to notice is that the eastern black walnut does not have a terminal leaflet. So 
Um, like sometimes with the Tree of Heaven, you can have no terminal leaflet like this. You know, there's no one leaf sticking out, um, sticking out up here at the top. There would just be one leaf here. Um, sometimes the Tree of Heaven does have one, sometimes it doesn't. But like I said, the most important thing is if you can look closely, you can see the leaflets are serrated and um, that's one good way to separate them from a Tree of Heaven and even a sumac. Um, these are more finely serrated than a sumac. Um, this is what um, the fruit looks like on a black walnut tree. Generally there are two, sometimes more, sometimes less. But if you see these, obviously it's a dead giveaway for a walnut. Okay, and lastly we have our sumacs. So this uh, particular sumac is Rus tafina or staghorn sumac. You can uh, see the stem and the, the branches here and the, the fruit are pubescent. They have little hairs on them. So that rules out um, smooth sumac and that makes this staghorn sumac. So this does have similar leaves to walnut and um, tree of heaven and they're frequently confused. So let's take a closer look at the leaf. Obviously, if you see this fruit, you know it's a sumac. Um, that rules that out right there. Here's the, the bark on uh, a, a staghorn sumac here. Um, a little bit different from uh, Tree of Heaven. It's, it's smooth still. It doesn't have like the deep um, patterns that a walnut does, but it's, it's smooth, but it looks different, and you can tell. Um, sumacs generally grow in clusters like this. Um, where they kind of have a lot of trunks and um, different plants growing in a pretty confined area and they kind of grow out like almost laterally and form this nice kind of shape with just like sumacs everywhere. Um, they also root sucker, Tree of Heaven also root suckers, um, so maybe that's what's going on here a little bit as well. Take a closer look at um, a sumac here. This is again from staghorn sumac. You can see closer to the end up here. You can still see the velvety hairs, which points to staghorn sumac. Um, if they were smooth, if the fruit was smooth and the stem was smooth, it would be smooth sumac. They look pretty similar other than the hairs. Um, but here is uh, the leaf. The leaf. Um, here, here are the leaflets. Again, they are serrated. So they're serrated entirely throughout the leaflet. Um, and you notice that they're more pronounced than an eastern black walnut. Uh, they're a little sharper, I guess, um, but they're not, you know, too pronounced. And, you know, obviously there's some variability, but you'll see serrated leaflets in this form. Less blades, I guess you could say. I don't know the official term, but less like serrations um, than an eastern black walnut. And you'll notice that we have a terminal leaflet here, um, whereas in the black walnut we didn't. So here are all three leaves next to each other we have the tree of heaven here you can see that's the biggest leaf generally the biggest leaf with the most leaflets we have an eastern black walnut in the middle and then we have staghorn sumac on the end so again just to recap the biggest things to look for when identifying these trees or the differences between them tree of heaven has these teeth here or these scent glands at the base of each leaflet um, that's a dead giveaway and sometimes it does have a terminal leaflet, sometimes it does not. The eastern black walnut is finely serrated, as you can see here, and it does not have a, a terminal leaflet. Um, and then lastly, the staghorn sumac um, is more finely serrated, or more uh, has more pronounced, has more pronounced serration patterns, and it does have a terminal leaflet. So, big things, um, commonly confused plants, but hopefully this video helped.